early spring, and I know that many people have what's called in North America cabin fever. You want to get outside, you want to go out, enjoy the outdoors, maybe take your dog for a walk. Well, we don't have a dog, and our cat, well, he won't go on a leash because, you know, he acts like he's been paralyzed if I put a leash on him. So Cindy and I headed up to Myra Canyon above the Okanagan Valley to go for a walk, and... uh, it was just a couple of days ago. The snow is almost all gone. 15 degrees, cloudy day, but it was nice. It's nice to get out and enjoy the fresh air and listen to some of the birds. I know I don't have the volume on here. That's because I'm talking right now because we also got another lesson about the outdoors. Now, down in the Caribbean, you know, I've made these videos before where I talk that people are always wondering, you know, when you're snorkeling, aren't you afraid of sharks and that? And you don't see them, you know, they're not around. But we know that in North America, we do have big predators. We got grizzly bears, we got wolves, we got cougars, and you know, there are times when they will attack people. But for the most part, these big predators want to get away from you. It's not the big predators you gotta be on the lookout for, it's the little ones. And there is a predator in British Columbia that's very dangerous, and yet it's about the size of a pumpkin seed. Not, not even a pumpkin seed. It's more like a size of a sesame seed. Very small. And it's called a tick. And ticks carry many diseases. So we're up in the outdoors. No idea of what's happening. We come home. Cindy's down, sitting by her computer, working away. And she felt something crawling across her neck. Well, it appears... A tick had attached himself to her clothing and was now making his way up into her uh, head, into the hair area, because that's where ticks like to go. They will get under your skin and they will feed on your blood. Now, if that's not bad enough, think about this. They carry diseases, and some of the diseases are very harmful to humans and animals alike. Now, I was really amazed how fast the stick was moving because I took it off her and we put it onto a plate so we could film it and see what it's like. But you can, it, it's really hauling. Now, one of the diseases you can get from ticks is Lyme disease, and there are many cases of it in British Columbia all the time. But like I said, it's not only humans. You've got to think about animals. Like I said, if you take your dog out, the dog has a lot of hair. They love to run through the grass, and that's where they're going to be attached. The, the ticks are going to attach themselves to it. So you have to keep, you know, put on a collar on your animal or check it through, give it a bath. And these things are amazing because I think most people have at one time or another caught a spider and put it in a jar and you know the spider can't even climb up the side of a jar. This tick we put into a jar because it was moving around so fast on the plate plate, and look at it. It looks like it's got little suction cups on its feet because it's climbing up the side of a jar. So this gives you an idea that if it's on a piece of clothing that's even stickier because of the material, like you're not going to shake it off. You really have to check yourself for ticks. And because of all the diseases they carry, this is a lot bigger danger than encountering a cougar or a bear out in the wild because there's lots of them, they're small, and you don't even think about it. At least that's the way I see it. Springtime, be careful with ticks all across North America and for your pets too.